Right guys, so uh, today we'll be looking at um, Ballast Points, High West Barrel Age, Victory at Sea. Um, so this is the 2017 vintage of this, their Imperial Porter with coffee vanilla, and then Asian High West Bourbon and Rye Barrels. If anyone isn't familiar with High West, um, this is the whiskey producer out of Utah. Um, and uh, yeah, this is one of theirs, this is the bottle that I have right now, this is their... Uh, Rendezvous Rye, which is a, uh, um, of course, one of their rye whiskeys. Let's see if this will actually kind of zoom in. Uh, you don't want to, maybe because it's on my face. No, nope. is it just going to do this for a while? Let's see if I can cover my face. There we go. All right, so you can see it's 46% ABV, and it's got the uh, batch number and bottle number and stuff like that. Anyway, um, this is just uh, one of their rye blends, as I mentioned. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, you can find a bunch of these at Total Wine or Specs. Um, I don't know which particular barrels um, that they use. It just says rye and bourbon oak casks. Um, you know, I don't know if those are certain barrels that normally would go or produce, you know, whiskeys for these, their certain brands. Um, they've got a few different brands out that you can find. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's what the bottle looks like, or at least all of their, pretty much all of their bottles um, look like this. So, uh, but yeah, so, um, I actually, I think this is the first time I've ever had victory at sea, which is really funny. Um, it's just funny because of how easy it is to find, but I've just never actually had the beer. So the first time with it will be the barrel age version. So heard good things, um, about this. So pretty excited to check it out, but let us, uh, I'll put this back over here so I don't knock this over and, uh, yeah. Let's check it out. Just picked this up today. And, ooh, threw it in the fridge. Uh, pretty good temperature right now, actually. Not too cold. So. Alright. So, really big, nice tan mocha head. Um, deep, kind of a brown black color. It's definitely got some um, brown at the edges here. And uh, really nice lacing. Looks pretty good. Let's check out the aroma. Well, definitely pretty uh, nutty. I think that's the first thing I'm picking up. It's a pretty nice nuttiness to it. Um, cola, dark chocolate, caramel, that kind of typical thing. I mean, I'm honestly not picking up a huge barrel character on this. I don't think it says here on how long it was aged, but... Um, and then the ABV, I forgot to mention, is 12%. So. I think it'll come out as it opens up a bit, but... Initial aromas are uh, chocolate, caramel. Um, it's pretty nutty. It has like a nice kind of almond pecan... Type nuttiness. I think I'm finding some vanilla. The coffee isn't really too bold on the aroma. But it has like this nice kind of nutty roastiness. Maybe that's where I'm kind of getting that nuttiness is from the coffee. Yeah, I think the vanilla is going to come out a bit more. And that whiskey. I feel like the whiskey's coming out a little bit more. So let's check it out. Cheers. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's the vanilla. Um, yeah, that's definitely there on the taste. It's a little bit lighter on the aroma. I think I'm getting it more, but it definitely hits you like first thing on the taste, which is awesome. I can't really say I'm getting coffee out of it though still, um, but everything in the aroma is pretty much there on the taste, that kind of chocolate, caramel, cola type flavors. Um, it has uh, moderate carbonation, maybe a little more so than I'd like. And uh, for 12%, it actually feels kind of thin. I 
I'm picking out some whiskey barrel, but it's not that intense to me. I think all of the malt flavors and the vanilla really kind of come out the most. I mean, you get a bit of that kind of, you know, caramel, slight maple um, character from the barrels, but it's really not that intense. Um, it's well blended, I would say that, though. I think the biggest thing that I'm getting that stands out is the vanilla um, right now. But it's got some slight lingering bitters on the back end, a bit roasty on the back end. Um, I don't know about coffee as much, but definitely some kind of... If it's not coffee roastiness, it's definitely um, roasted malt. But a bit lingering bitterness. Beer really isn't sweet, I would say, at all. I mean, you get some initial sweetness up front. Um, from that barrel. Yeah, from the barrel, from the vanilla, but it kind of dries out and has nice lingering bitterness pretty quickly, uh, which makes it pretty drinkable, which I do enjoy. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, pretty good stuff, pretty solid. Um, you know, I kind of wish I would get more coffee out of it. I really do enjoy what I've had from High West so far. So, it'd be nice to get a bit more whiskey character out of this. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't know how long they aged it. You don't know how wet the barrels were. So, anyway. Um, yeah, good stuff. I'm... Um, I think I'm, I'm definitely at 4.25 for this guy. It might be just slightly higher. I'm not quite at a 4.5. I think if uh, the body felt a bit bigger um, and some coffee, I got some coffee, yeah, I would definitely hit 4.5, and I think to go higher than that would just to be a more intense barrel character along with everything else that I had just mentioned um, to really elevate this beer a bit more. But overall still really tasty beer and pretty cool to find you know I, I i don't actually know how limited it was it came in today at my heb and um grabbed some uh, right as it came in and uh yeah so anyway it's pretty much it i guess for uh ballast points high west victory at sea um we'll go ahead and say 4.3 out of 5 solid stuff you can find it um definitely a pretty nice Pretty nice barrel aged beer. Um, I don't even remember what the cost was. It came in a four pack though, so I like that it's in four pack 12 ounce bottles because I thought this was a bigger bottle. I don't know if they did bigger bottles, but I thought it was a 22. Um, so really nice that it's a 12 ounce so I can, you know, more easily solo this. So as always, cheers and I will catch you guys later.